also interesting to note that that was Hoyt, uh, his last show with us. He's been with us for about a year. And uh, it's sad to see him go, but he felt he had to leave. And he's been going through a lot of stressful stuff uh, in his life now, in, in my opinion. And I tend to think, you know, a lot of that sort of builds up. He was playing in two bands, ours, and he had an acoustic uh, group as well. And uh, you've got, you know, we're practicing four nights a week. You know, he's just moved into town about a year ago with his wife. And he felt like he wasn't spending that much time with her. And, uh, and you know, obviously that's got to come first. And anyway, uh, so we wish him well. It's rough to, to see him leave. So this was Hoyt's last show. He's been playing with us for uh, about a year. A little over that, I think. Yeah. Uh, um, and unfortunately, he's leaving uh, to do other things. So um, one, I want to say thanks. We had a great time, and we're not going to stop seeing you, obviously. Of course, yes. yes. But, um, so what's next? What's next for you? Um, personal reflection, I guess. Uh, just got to figure out uh, what's next. I know, next. I put you on the spot. I don't know. I don't know what's next. Um, it's kind of like you have this girl that's like your really good friend, and you guys try dating, and you, you find out that... You know, you guys are awesome friends, but you just don't date well. You know, you just get a feeling about it, you know? And, um, and that's just what I have, and so I'm, I'm gonna take that feeling and I'm gonna use it as the kind of motivation to like, just kick my ass into gear and start coming up with my own stuff. And uh, I don't know, I don't know. I, I wouldn't be here with you fucking guys. This is a fucking crazy ass ride. And I'm playing in Hollywood, holy shit, you know? So it's a dream come true, thanks to you guys. What, give me your, your highs and lows with RPS. What was your best moment if you had to... Oh, I know, I'm putting you on the spot. What was, what was the best? What was I, the best I one? loved the Halloween show. That was the cool... That was just like getting up there in that mullet with spitting blood on stage. Like, just we were all in our fucking prime that show, you know? And that was definitely a high. Um, a low. <laughs> Tonight's probably about the lowest I've been. And the highest, which is kind of... Uh, why is it the lowest? Is it because it hurts to say goodbye? Yeah, or because you know, it's like... <laughs> I, hope, I hope you guys know, this is not... I can't say this is not what I want to do. But... It's... Not easy. <laughs> it wasn't a fucking easy decision. So this is like the highest and lowest that I've been. Playing for Kiss and Kill. Playing in front of all those guys I've heard so much about. It just... Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna miss him definitely. I, I understood what he was going through. He's a young newlywed. He's got ambitions and dreams and desires, and I don't think you know a band is gonna. I think that's gonna get in the way of a lot of his things. So I told him, you know, you need to be. If you want to start a band, start it with your wife. You need to be doing stuff together, and you know, maybe take it on the road or just play some coffee clubs and coffee shops, but. Uh, and, and yeah, come back uh, a little later when, when everything settles down, but yeah, he, he, uh, he's got a lot on his plate. It's hard. It's like any sort of relationship, I think. You get chemistry with someone. Yeah. And it works. But like any relationship, you know, it's not only a two-way street with us, it's a four-way street. Yeah. I mean, you know, relationship, love relationships are hard enough, you know, as you know, being married. <laughs> You know, and as I know, uh, oh, you know, virtually being married. Yeah. And, you know, but getting four people on the same page and trying to keep them that way for a period of time is really difficult. And it can happen, and I know it It did happen with us, and it will happen with you guys. It's just, just this was one step, I think, for all of us that we needed to take to grow just that much more, you know? That's right. Well, it was funny. Uh, I remember when he came to one of our shows and... You know, he was pretty, pretty quiet, kind of reserved. But then the moment he, like, strapped on the guitar and got on stage, I could see that he's got a lot of energy. That's I don't think we even got to see all of it. I mean, we just saw like the tip of the iceberg with Hoyt. I knew Hoyt could play, and we had auditioned him, but I don't think we until we played out with him, uh, and we realized how crazy he was. Uh, did we realize what we really had in our hands? And so then we had a guy who was running around. And especially when he got his wireless, we were playing at Occidental, and he was running in this enormous cafeteria, and he was running laps. It was it was absolutely crazy. And it was cool. I mean, he did really bring an energy. I I, I definitely noticed, like me and Shell, like 
came out of our little, we got a little bit of stage presence and then we fed off of him and I saw what he was doing and he just kind of took our band finally to where we were fun to watch on stage as opposed to just standing there playing. So, you know, yeah, his energy totally helped out us a lot. Do you have any messages to the other guys in the band? I, uh, I said they're not here, they're not listening. They're not listening. So you guys see us later. PJ, uh, don't PJ. take Shell's crap. PJ, do not take Shell's crap. You keep, you got some great ideas. You guys all have great ideas. But uh, PJ, you're kind of the, uh, you're the yin to the yang. So you, you keep it up. And Howie, man, like, I, I say I'm busy, and then there's you. And I just, you know, you keep doing this, and, and, and Nikolai, you know, you keep, it's just, I don't know, you just, you're cool. I want to be a dad like you. So, um, yeah. Cool. Last show, man. Good shit. It's good shit. Awesome. Fucking A. We, we rocked it. Anyway, uh, so we wish him well. It's rough to, to see him leave. So now we got to talk about replacing him and figuring out what we're going to do for the lead guitar spot because we got to have one. You guys going to replace him? Yeah, we hope to replace him. Yes, we are going to replace him. <laughs> there is no ifs. Yes, we are going to replace him. Um, as much as it pains in any time you lose somebody uh, because it, each incarnation is so unique, um, we're going to replace him. I don't know how quickly we're going to do that. Uh, we've talked about um, doing auditions uh, after recording is done. Um, not sure if we're going to do that or if we're going to just see, play with some people just in a kind of low-key kind of way while we're still recording but not incorporate them into the recordings. Um, not sure yet. Yes, we're gonna we're gonna have to replace them. Our sound is very dependent on a lead guitar player and especially backing vocalists because of all the harmonies and things. And I love I love harmonies and um, we need somebody to help carry that stuff through for sure. Cool. I was telling somebody last night that uh, I was seriously thinking about setting my guitar on fire. <laughs> yeah, great way. Too. Yeah, well, that's the thing is that you wouldn't want anybody else to get hurt, but <laughs> just yourself. <laughs> oh, you don't care about yourself at that point. But I was thinking because I've seen so much, I've seen so many wrestling matches, you know, where they light a table on fire and they put the guy through the table, but it burns so quick because there's not that much lighter fluid on it. Oh. Oh. But ah, oh, great song. I'd concentrate more on our sound before we get into that stuff. I know. <laughs> I was just, I was walking through... Um, I mean, when Kiss was doing that stuff to get attention, they already had some great tunes. Yeah. <laughs> that was a bonus. Kiss. I was I was just walking down the aisle at Rite Aid. And I was uh, going, oh, what can I do tonight at the end of the set? And I stopped in front of the lighter fluid, and it was right there. <laughs>